गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैम इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स प्राइमरिली इन इंडिया हैज बीन यूज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्मार्ट सिटीज वी हैव अ ड्राफ्ट आई ओ टी पॉलिसी ऑल्सो फॉर making cities uh, safe for women uh, increasing the uh, turnaround time uh, in the, uh, that is used in the traffic management in the city in the day to day life that i am also using my iot for example uh, through my mobile something i can i can put on in my house that is called iot yes sir definitely Right. Yes, sir. If uh, if any device at your house, like a fridge or an AC or a cooler, is if it is attached it's to its so sensors, nice, nice. yes, sir, right. it can be uh, uh, tackled. It can be handled through a mobile phone app, uh, right from where you are sitting at your own. So that is IoT. Yes, sir. So is it presently used by women in our country? Yes, sir. It is used uh, by devices like Google Home, Alexa Home. So we have created smart homes also. Uh, and uh, you have interest in that? Yes, sir. What have you done? Sir, uh, we won the national IoT championship at IIT Roorkee in 2017. So there we created a temperature uh, sensing module, which could sense temperatures and post timely updates on Twitter uh, using our uh, mobile app that we had developed. So we created a system uh, on Arduino microprocessor. And what is the small line national treasure hunt? so here uh, here in we created a treasure hunt that involved a problem solving based on certain problem statements that we gave uh, in c and c++ so it was uh, hosted on the hacker earth platform wherein if we solve a problem statement and we get an answer that could lead us to the next levels and in that way we created a global uh, treasure hunt wherein coders from all the all around the globe could participate and win a great prize also there's a lot of controversy about it rules What is latest on? So the latest controversy has been uh, with respect to make... this controversy. What is the latest condition? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so latest is that uh, Twitter has uh, uh, told the High Court that uh, it will comply to the um, IT rules and that it will appoint a grievance redressal officer okay. who is based in India. And sir, with respect to WhatsApp, also it suspended its privacy policy recently. No, I am asking IT rules going to court. Yes, sir. Different. So the uh, court yes. single petition at this point. Okay. Point. And apart from that, there are other controversies also. The personal data protection bill and cryptocurrency also there. Yes, sir. Anything on cryptocurrency? Yes, sir. Uh, cryptocurrency market worldwide remains volatile. Uh, however, it uh, saw a recent uh, boom. Uh, however in india it is unreg- still unregulated in nature uh, mm-hmm. but um, our finance minister had uh, has said that uh, we are going to follow a good approach towards cryptocurrency and we will come with good laws also handling cryptocurrency so we have forest in india so the percentage oh sorry sir the forests in india yes sir um, forest in india forms almost 24% of our geographical area And there is another term, forest cover, tree cover. Yes, sir. Uh, so forest and tree cover uh, in totality forms around twenty-four percent in India, and uh, so I'm not aware of the exact tree cover. Yeah. Uh, Anuja. Yes. Sir. You did your tenth from Mount Kamal yes. and change your school name. Any specific reason? Uh, Ma'am, in Maharashtra, our schools are available only till tenth standard. Okay. So, for further studies, we need to opt for colleges. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and you opted for Ferguson College. Yeah, Ferguson College. And uh, who founded the college? Ma'am, it was founded by uh, a freedom strugglers of the era. Uh, it it was mainly founded by Lokmanya Tilak, uh, Sir uh, Gopal Ganesh Agarkar, uh, of Amandra Vapte Sir also, and. Uh, R.J. Pandarkar sir also had a contribution to its formation of the college. And how many prime ministers came to that college? Oh, Ma'am, our uh, uh, prime minister in 1991, Sir P.V. Narsimha Rao and Sir V.P. Singh were alumni of the college. Okay, now I have seen that you are interested in IPAC cycling. Yes. So, uh, give me some examples of up cycling uh, you have ever learned. Ma'am, the basic examples are uh, using our uh, old clothes at our houses to make quilts and uh, increase the life si lifetime of such uh, discarded clothing items at home. Secondly, uh, using old furniture so that that could be revived in certain manner, painted, uh, put a design on it and that could be used in our homes uh, instead of scrapping them. Uh, thirdly, use of plastic bottles to create uh, good home decor items at home. So that can be done. Uh, can we use upcycling in Manitin City based on Yes, ma'am. Can you please explain about that? Ma'am, uh, very good example is the rock gardens of Chandigarh, wherein waste was used to create a very good garden and an aesthetic that could be uh, good for the city also and manage uh, and could manage waste also. So that could be done. Uh, we could create the vertical gardens from uh, plastic bottles. Uh, these days, uh, they are done uh, below the flyovers in major cities. And uh, plastic is also used in uh, manufacturing of roads these days. Uh, wherein plastic bottles are filled with, is also used in uh, manufacturing of roads these days. Uh, wherein plastic bottles are filled with. And you mentioned about clothes also. Yes, sir. Can you call it clothes? Uh, uh, they are called as, uh, uh, they go under the uh, name of thrift businesses in India wherein old clothes can be gathered by uh, uh, such entrepreneurs and uh, they could be recycled. Yeah, you said plastic is getting converted and is used in making clothes for textiles. Uh, map roads. Okay. Use of roads. Okay. 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 That's why I would Yes. And uh, you also do reflective writing. Yes. And uh, what did you write about last time? Ma'am, I do it on a regular basis. Last time, um, it was with respect to the deaths that we saw in the pandemic. Uh, I was really moved by them. And I reflected upon it as, as something uh, wherein uh, pandemic deaths are only just a number for all of us. But when it happens to someone, it uh, changes their whole life. And, that, and I learned from that, that we need to be more grateful for whatever we have and whatever God has blessed us with. So this was Can recently. Can find any weakness or strength of yours by doing reflective writing? Yes, ma'am, I do. Uh, uh, most times, um, I come to know that I uh, get overly emotional at times. So through reflective writing, I have learned that I need to be more conscious of my decision making so that I do not take impulsive decisions based on emotions and uh, come to a logical decision uh, based on uh, rational uh, terms. One last question. So. Uh, how do you see that artificial intelligence can improve the situation of women's safety in India? Can I take a minute? Yeah, yeah, please. Ma'am, through use of artificial intelligence and data gathering, uh, we can learn about uh, uh, at what time of the day and, uh, and, and what areas of the cities are crimes happening. Uh, the, the most probability of uh, crimes in what time of the day that could be done and uh, we could come with models that predict wherein um, such time of the area and uh, such uh, situations are uh, the most uh, where women are the most vulnerable to uh, crimes uh, ma'am secondly um, ma'am i will have to think about it i'm not getting it right now Hi, yes you have a political sense and international relations as your option. Yes, sir. But you are given a foreign service as your fifth option. Yes, sir. What's the reason? So I have immense uh, respect for the foreign services also. However, the decision is uh, mostly personal as uh, my father passed away recently and I feel my family needs my immediate attention.
Okay, so you feel that you are being selected for Indian Foreign Service, you could not meet all your family requirements. Uh, sir, I could, but not in the most direct manner. So uh, that is why I took the decision. So the reason is after 2014, uh, India's foreign policies are always viewed in a very uh, different perspective compared to the previous till 2014. Yes, so what are the changes in the foreign policy has taken place after 2014? So post 2014, our uh, foreign policy is more of an energetic engagement with the world. Uh, it is uh, it is based on the fact uh, that India is not going to be a passive receiver of uh, of economic and uh, other uh, uh, beneficial. India is not going to be just a beneficiary. Rather, India uh, India is projecting itself as a maker of the world order right now. That it has the potential to lead the world, and hence we are also going for a permanent seat at the uh, United Nations Security Council. We are going for uh, like I said, energetic engagement throughout the world. Uh, our prime minister has travelled a lot of countries for that also, and we have seen its uh, uh, we have seen its uh, effect on our foreign policy domestically also with respect to the Kashmir issue also, and uh, nations have been supporting us in that manner. So nations are supporting us, but still we could not have a strong say in even security policy. Where are we lacking? So uh, with respect to developmental works that India is carrying uh, in. Uh, uh, countries abroad, India needs to expedite its uh, uh, whatever the commitments that India has made so that India is looked upon as a country that delivers more. So that is one uh, uh, gap that we need to address. Uh, so at the same time on the domestic front also, uh, we need to be projected as a democracy that is more inclusive so that trust deficit that exists within our neighborhood also can be uh, tackled in a manner. What is the issue with Dokla? So, uh, Chinese uh, army has made ingressions in the uh, Doklam plateau. Uh, it had. Uh, it was uh, the tri junction point uh, near Bhutan and our chicken next corridor. And uh, uh, so, it was amicably resolved after we had an uh, informal summit. And so, after Doklam also, even after the in in informal summit, uh, Chinese have uh, ingressed into our uh, northeast uh, Ladakh also. So, so it has not. Uh, so, uh, relations with China due to this has come to a crossroads and not the same as before. So, India is doing lots of grant assistance projects in the international world. Many of its neighborhood, African countries, Latin American countries. So, but the amount of budget spent for this is in, in lots of rows. When we are lacking India for uh, uh, social sector schemes, which are on the other average scale, it's in the uh, slow pace in India. But we are spending so much of money in the foreign countries, in the neighborhood, like China, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bangladesh. So, what do we need to spend this much of money as a grant assistance for the two foreign countries? What are they going to do? What, what benefits are we going to do for it? So, spending grant assistance has uh, multiple uh, benefits also. Because uh, as we are trying to project India as a leader of the third world countries, not only of the third world countries, but also of the world in general. It is our responsibility as a, as a responsible nation to go for such developmental activities. And uh, though we add, uh, though we add uh, substantial developmental assistance to the countries outside, uh, they also help uh, us when we are in need. Like for the COVAX facility when we donated vaccines, even when uh, uh, in the second wave we needed a lot of medical equipments, we were also helped in the similar way and it was reciprocated to us also. So that helps uh, in that manner. And you think you developmental activities done by India and its neighborhood grant projects or EOC projects? So we are developing the Kaladan multimodal terminal. Uh, we are also developing uh, the Chabahar port in Iran, uh, the Zaranj Delaram highway in Iran uh, that, con that connects to Afghanistan. We have um, the uh, we are developing the Western Container Terminal in Sri Lanka also. Uh, then so we are going for uh, developments. Uh, in Africa, uh, which uh, we have the ITEC initiative in Africa that is going for uh, technical and uh, economic uh, cooperation with Africa. And so we have such initiatives in Latin America also. Okay. So what is your WASH program? Sorry, sir. WASH. Yes, sir. Uh, w -E -A -S. 
the wash program starts for uh, it stands for uh, water and sanitation hygiene so uh, it is basically uh, to increase awareness with respect to uh, sanitation facilities in india so that better health outcomes can be uh, generated has the program successfully in maharashtra So with respect to the uh, uh, making uh, uh, cities uh, open defecation free and uh, uh, sustaining hygiene, yes, so it has worked in Maharashtra. However, we need to work on uh, sludge management and fecal sludge management and solid waste management yet. Okay. So, so uh, my last question. Successful social welfare schemes in Maharashtra in the last five years. So first of all, green, the, green, green, green. yes, sir. So first I can remember is the farm pond scheme in Maharashtra, wherein uh, it was called as the Jalyukta Shivar, which uh, went for creating farm ponds in uh, agricultural fields so that uh, maximum amount of rainwater can be stored and harvested and no drop of water is gone waste. Uh, it worked along with Pani Foundation and it had uh, very good uh, effects in the region. No data has been... Uh, uh, it, there has been a uh, uh, tendency to not hide data. Are you saying other states are hiding? So, uh, not hiding exactly, but there can be inadequate transparency in data uh, with respect to data collection and reporting. So, that is a factor that is, hell, that is uh, making the cases to come out more. Um, also, sir, uh, thirdly, the uh, mutations that uh, the virus is uh, causing has been more prominent in Maharashtra with respect to the Delta variant and the Delta plus variant also. Can you tell me some application of IoT in governance? So with respect to the smart city only, that uh, aids a lot to the uh, governance by uh, liquidating uh, law and order problems that could be uh, decreased. Uh, so secondly, uh, we can go for uh, uh, we can go for uh, IoT in uh, creating a land management system wherein uh, wherein we can have land records uh, through sensors and uh, through mapping of uh, agricultural data, and so uh, that land banks can help in uh, help us uh, uh, can help it can have uh, multiple effects on uh, infrastructure projects and wherein land acquisition is a very big problem. So that can be done using IoT. Okay. What do you understand by Moore's law? Moore's law. It's related to computing. So, one of the things that has been generated as waste a lot in the last few years is masks. Can we upcycle masks? Is there any possibility of upcycling masks? So, masks have uh, two factors that is, uh, first is the uh, uh, main body of the mask, and second is the bands that uh, are used in masks to tie, up, tie them up to our ears. So such bands can be recycled because uh, such bands are also, uh, they are causing businesses in rural areas wherein such bands are used to make rubber bands for hairs. Uh, however, so given the uh, biomedical uh, consequences of the mask in general, they should be sterilized and only recycled. So upcycling may not be very healthy in that sense. One more there's a campaign going on in Maldives, India Out campaign. Have you heard of it? Okay, you read newspapers? Yes. Yes. Sam, there is some deal coming up. So, uh, there is uh, going to be a cream. Uh, Assam Assembly is trying to create a different department for indigenous uh, population, uh, uh, for saving the indigenous population and their resources. Something on that also? I've heard about it, but I'm not sure. Beef. Oh Yes, sir. It, uh, it was regarding banning beef around the Satras that are the Vaishnavite monasteries in Assam. That is, I think, 5 kilometers of the yes, sir. Five kilometers. Will it be feasible? So banning may not be feasible because uh, it may go underground as uh, majority times it happens. In 5 kilometers from one place, do you think in 5 kilometers there won't be any temples? So it is possible that huh? temples would be there because mm -hmm. the, sit the state is in itself a small state with respect to population. Okay, your interview is over. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? 
So uh, I need to improve on the technology front more, and uh, I could study my uh, international relations better. Thank you. Thank you.